this is a video game commentary I just want to um, show you guys some stuff as far as how you would uh, start the game out and how you would go into battle this is token and two token and Kiwami is nothing but token and one with uh, more content so if you go to my trophy you will see that I didn't play a lot of the PS Vita version of token and because I got it so late and by that time, I already heard about Token and Kiwami, which I started playing the demo uh, for my Japanese account. And then uh, it, the demo that same year came out for the United States. So I was able to transfer all my PS Vita game save from the original Token into Token and Kiwami, Kiwami's demo. And then from then, I transferred the demo content to the final game of Token and Kiwami, where I continued to play through uh, the first part of Tokyo Kiwami after chapter 8 that's when you get to the new content so the cool thing I like about uh, token and 2 is it's open world this time the town is huge you are gonna see this in the um, rest of this video so just just stay patient I'm gonna go over this version then I'm gonna let you see uh, token and Kiwami so um your house pretty much looks exactly the same except for you don't need to save at the pit anymore uh, what you gotta do you would push start you would go all the way here what up am I doing alright you would go here then you would save so to be 100% honest you could save anywhere you don't need to go to your house the only reason you need to go to your house is to probably change your armor other than that you're good um, still pretty much the same you see the blacksmith if you see the shops over here um, but now when you want to leave a town you wouldn't go up the steps or anything you would just keep walking or running and the doors will open and you would just keep walking and running and this is how you would leave the town um, the game is 100% open world you can go into buildings and all of that st shit without loading screens anymore uh, you can explore as much as you want. You got a, a spiritual graveling hook arm thing. Uh, now you have collectibles, it seems. You have people out in, in, in the outskirts of the town that you can now talk to. You have transformable weapons where the the sword has another little blade at the end uh, sorry the shield has a blade at it at the end of it and what we can do is I can fight with the shield and the sword so and then I could take that blade off and it just goes back to looking like a regular shield I'm glad that they added the sword and shield class this was one of the uh, classes I really wanted them to add so I'm glad that they did that I'm trying to look for a jump off point so there's like jump off points all of it once again is open world this is the jump off point uh, where you would go to the, just start to actually start traveling down so as you can see even though you can jump off and start to go down there you can get back up here um, just use your graveling hook spiritual arm which I'm gonna find an easier name or whatever it's really called when it comes to the United States but that's what I'm saying it's just it's open world as can be okay it seems just like the original monster hunter that I played on the PSP if you jump for long heights you don't hurt yourself at all um, but once again You got different uh, stances and stuff. I'm trying to figure out a way to get out of that stance. Okay, I don't, I don't really like that stance. It's kind of stiff, but uh, effective. So um, this right here is token and two. Token and Kiwami is not token and two. Token and Kiwami is nothing but token and one with more content. So. Um, just in case you guys go looking through my trophies, you will see I played more of Token and Kiwami than Token and uh, Part 1 on the Vita, and that is because Token and Kiwami is Part 1, and, but it's on the PS4, and it has extra content, and the subtitle, which is Kiwami. Uh, so, you can go anywhere you want. You can go from the town 
to out in the outskirts, you can explore, head on to other towns with no loading screens. You can fight enemies with no loading screens. So this is Token and Kiwami. Uh, you already saw Token and 2. This is Token and Kiwami. Where you start out in your house and this is how it is. You remember the fish pit. You remember the armor um, over here. Uh, this stone wasn't here in Token and 2. But uh, this is Token and Kiwami which is Token and 1. Uh, all it is is it has a little bit more content after Chapter 8. Um... You can also transfer your game saves from Token and One to Token and Kiwami. Uh, so if you have the Vita version of Token and you transfer it here, and then you can continue playing the full game. Uh, or if you wanted to not play the the full game of Token and Kiwami, you could play the demo and you can still transfer your Token and One content to the demo of Token and Kiwami. And then after you're done enjoying the demo, if you decide to, you can transfer all that save to the final game. Uh, so your progress doesn't go to waste. So as you can see, it's a fixed camera angle. Um, when you're running through town, or what you would want to see as this town. Um, so there's this little guardian tree thing going on up here. Uh, <clears throat> really gives you more of a restrictive feel like the original Monster Hunters. Uh, that were for the PSP and PS2. And as you can see, this is the end of the town now. That is the end. You would walk up these steps. You would go inside. Once again, another loading screen. <coughs> and um, you would uh, you will have to. What you're gonna have to do? You're gonna have to make a mission uh, to go somewhere else. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so. Uh, I don't know where I want to go, but we're just we're just gonna pick somewhere. So we're gonna bring these two, and then what we gotta do? We're gonna go here. We're gonna push X, right? And then they're gonna send us on our way. So uh. Once again, as you can see, another loading screen. And as you can see, the map layout. Um, once again, this is Token and Kiwami, and you just saw Token in 2. Um, so, there are areas that are even blocked off from this specific mission. And Token in 2, um, <coughs> you won't have that. If it's blocked off, it means you didn't explore it yet. Um, also in Token and Kiwami is, which, like I said, Token and Kiwami is Token and One. Um, my trophies show that I didn't play Token and One on the Vita a lot, but I played Token and Kiwami because Token and Kiwami is Token and One. Like I said, past Chapter Eight, that's when you will get to the new content of Token and Kiwami. But before Chapter Eight, everything is Token and One. Uh, all the content, uh, weapons, armor, all of that, enemies, everything. So it's section based. Every section has a small either I believe load screen or black screen. Let's go see what that looks like. It's a little load screen, not a black screen. Very fast, but still when you just got done playing Token and 2 like myself, you can come back to this game. You can still enjoy the beauty of it. Um the vastness of it, but you know it's restrict restrictive. Um and that's just what I want to show you guys. So, uh, we got these enemies. <coughs> I should have picked a faster weapon, but, uh, got a lot of weapons. So, once again, just, I like it. You know, I've always supported Token, and this was our Monster Hunter. Uh, but you can see that Token and 2 really knocked it out of the part, adding the open world element, which, you know, a lot of games are going for these days. And I, I have to admit, not every game I want to have open world. I don't want it to be sandbox, not every game. Some games can benefit from the uh, uh, semi open world, like uh, what we saw with Uncharted 4. Uh, games like this need it. 
I don't understand why every time I go to a new area, it needs a loading screen. Um, I'm going to break that down to you guys before it gets too long. The original Monster Hunters had this. And everybody that wanted to copy off Monsters, Monster Hunter kept it. So they kept the same basically exact formula where when you went to a new area, you needed a load screen. It would be section based. There are multiple Hunter games that I played on the PS Vita systems as well as PS4 that kept this. Token in 2 is the first Hunter style game that gets rid of the old Monster Hunter formula and just lets you run around freely. No loading screens. Not even when you leave the town or while you're in the town. And you can save whenever you want. You don't need to go back to your bedroom to save.